We make the strings louder. Of these. I think I have at least three of these. I'm gonna get another one. <laughs> yeah, just add to the collection. Uh oh. What is that? Hi right, guys. Well, there she is. It's a uh, a 24 foot Hallmark uh, Edge. So it's you know a little bit kind of more of their better series, more like the racer thing, but 24 foot, it has the, the dual torsion axles, and it's a uh, 2012. So it's a little bit newer, a little bit more modern, you know, all LED lights all around, and it's actually taller too. So I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a little bit more on the, you know, on the inside when we get back, but, uh, but yeah. Hi guys, so, uh, so I guess this is the trailer out here during the day. So one of the reasons I ended up getting this thing, so this is a 2012, uh, 24 foot hallmark and it's kind of the extra tall version. So it's, I believe it's like an extra foot tall uh, Which is is kind of it's it's bad for towing as far as you know wind resistance and all that stuff But as far as being inside it's definitely nice because you could you could almost jump up and down in here And my plan is to kind of put some tire racks going along one of these walls And so doing that it's uh, it'll definitely be nicer it, it being a little bit taller so uh, th This trailer is a 2012 kind of part of the reason I ended up getting it is uh, there might be an event I want to go to, and uh, I guess mostly it was it was cheap, so it was a really really good price. I mean these things hold their value really really well, and this thing was, you know I don't know probably two or three thousand dollars cheaper than uh, than what it should have been, uh, you know. So really good condition. The guy who had it, he had it since new. It has uh, you know Max's E-rated uh, tires on it. You know he always serviced it, the brakes and everything. He's kind of a friend of a friend. And uh, so really took care of his stuff. He had his rock crawler in here, as you can see by that, but he ended up selling that and, and he's going a different direction with, uh, with some of his toys and projects and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, I guess, you know, he, he, he left this little thing in here, this kind of a little workbench type of deal. And then he, he left the toolbox in here, some extra gas cans, two spare tires, which is really nice. And uh, has a lot of E-Track in it, a couple little things. This thing, I want to move this actually inside because putting paper towel rolls right here, you can see what it does in the wind. But, or just not put paper towel rolls there. But uh, I want to put some cabinets in here, you know, my own actual cabinets. And then probably that bench out of my other trailer with the little aluminum thing. I, I really like that bench. And then figure out, you know, the whole tire situation on the walls. Uh, the other thing I don't really like is the the wood, like the wood paneling look. It just, I don't know, it just, it, it, it doesn't feel as like nice in here. So I want to uh, basically pull all the E-Track off the wall, uh, mask all this stuff off of it, and then uh, basically paint the whole inside of it like a gloss white, paint the floor, you know, like an epoxy gray again, get it all sealed up so you kind of, kind of can't see, see like the oil spots and everything again. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to have any issues with the door because on my other trailer it had the extra long ramp that they kind of built for like low cars but since this trailer is a, an extra foot longer the door should almost be an extra foot taller um, you know so that kind of gives me that extra little bit of rake and you could see right there too it kind of has a built-in dovetail on here but uh, yeah it's got you know decently heavy duty hinges on the bottom right there and uh, yeah I wish this wind would die down, but uh, yeah, I guess one of the other things is is the paint on it is really, really nice. It doesn't have any damage, no damage or anything like that. The, the side isn't all scratched up and, uh, and dirty and gross, kind of like my other one. has all LED lights all the way around. The 5,200-pound uh, torsion axles, which is nice. Basically the same, same as the other one. But one of the other things is, is, is since the, the accident with the other trailer, you know, with, with the whole insurance and all that type of stuff, I, uh, you know, basically like my... The, the other guy's car was covered, but my trailer was not covered at all. Um, you know, so basically like all the damage and everything that happened to it. I think insurance is only like $100 a month on these things. Or not $100 a month, $100 a year to actually like fully insure this thing. Um, you know, basically like full coverage on the trailer. 
and uh, and so yeah in in that aspect it would have it would have actually saved me a lot of money um, but you know now that the other one is kind of kind of damaged this is the, the axle off of it I'm not sure exactly what what went wrong but you can see it's kind of like rusty looking but it's been sitting outside here for a little bit but uh, yeah something happened for sure with that so I still need to work on it so I still have the other trailer over here. I uh, pulled the axle out of it because I was basically trying to measure it to, to go ahead and order one. It seems like a new one's gonna be about 700 bucks or so. Um, they seem complicated as far as like ordering them because they're the, the torsion ones. But the other thing I didn't really like about this trailer was the, the paint on it. I initially did want to paint it, um, but you know, never kind of got around to it. But it has a couple little scratches in it. One thing I did like was the electric jack. It has a, its own battery, but uh, you could definitely see the paint need some so this is what I've cleaned and this is that so this is like a 2000s trailer um, it's like a 2000 2001 but uh, it does have a little bit nicer things on the inside though yeah see how in here how the, the floor is gray the walls are white and it just feels uh, feels a lot better I do kind of like that it's a little bit shorter in here as far as towing wise but uh, I could definitely feel you know the difference is how much room is in here and Dave has to, to duck when he's in here but uh, I will probably steal a couple things out of here. Uh, like I said, I really like this aluminum uh, bench thing and kind of how it holds stuff in there. It has a little lip on the bottom and you can kind of strap stuff to it. Um, I'm gonna leave the cabinets in here, um, leave the radio, leave all that stuff. I never really listened to the radio anyhow. But one of the other things I didn't like was you can see the light in the back. I did like the door with the extra long little ramp thing, but I could always make that. I have a bunch of boxes and stuff in here right now, but yeah, there's the there's the wheel, um, all that stuff. So, so yeah, I guess uh, I just need to kind of figure out exactly what I'm doing, but uh, I'm gonna miss this trailer. I uh, basically one of my uh, my buddies, he has a, a race car, and so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the axle, fix up a couple of little things with it, and go ahead and sell it to him because he's not really as worried about like the cosmetic stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Um, sorry, it was kind of short. It was just kind of, you know, a little quick, you know, run up there, pick it up kind of thing and just kind of show you guys around it. But uh, like I said, I definitely want to do kind of some different cabinets and stuff. One of the, the things I really liked about this trailer initially was that it was like somebody's race car trailer and it had the cabinets and it has the little aluminum thing and it had the bench and, uh, you know, had the radio and all that type of stuff. But uh, I think the other trailer will be, uh, will be actually a little bit better. You know, because I'll be, you know, more inclined to actually go through it more and, and kind of make it my own. Um, yeah, again, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we do still have merchandise for sale, merchandisetv.com, if you want to support the channel. And uh, kind of one of the reasons I, I, I wanted to have another con enclosed trailer, like, available right away, is I might be wanting, I, I kind of want to go to uh, uh, Sonoma Drift, the Winter Jam, which is December, I think it's 16th and 17th, in, uh, like, Northern California. Which is like a 20 hour drive for me um but that's up in the air um let me know what you guys think if uh, if you guys are around there or if you'd come out but uh seems like a lot of like the fd guys go out to that and that would be pretty cool to uh you know go drive with some of those guys and uh you know do some tandems with, with some crazy people but uh yeah catch you later